Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Khan Noonien Singh six scale figure from Star Trek The Original Series by Quantum Mechanics. Let's see how it turned out. Okay, first up, as always, the packaging. And I'll say this for Quantum Mechanics, they are consistent. This lenticular design of the saucer section of the Enterprise really does it for me. Um, what doesn't really do it for me, again, and I brought this up in previous videos, is the integration, or rather lack thereof, of the product photography with the package design. It just kind of looks like it was stuck on there. I just really feel that it doesn't do the uh, photography um, justice. And I suppose that it could be a design decision, but quite honestly, I really can't figure out what went into it. Uh, you can see it again right here, but I'm not going to dwell on that. Um, everything else about the packaging, the typography on it is really, really solid. Again, I really appreciate what's going on with the saucer section motif. But let's be honest, most collectors don't care overly much for the packaging. They only care about this. Here he is, Khan, just as he's going to come to you in his packaging. It's pretty much everything that you're going to need with this version of Khan in this costume from the end of the episode Space Seed. Look at those little delicate bits. Those things are very, very fragile. I found out later that there's going to be, that they actually included replacements for those in case you happen to knock them off and lose them. So yeah, be very careful when handling it, and as I'll try to be when I'm posing. Accessories include a nice array of hands, as well as the part of the Enterprise that Kirk and Khan used to bludgeon each other with, and this awesome crushed phaser. Look at that. So cool. The figure also comes with the decorative base featuring the Starfleet logo that we've come to expect from all the previous offerings of Star Trek figures from Quantum Mechanics. Posing the figure is an absolute breeze. Again, this is really no surprise. I've come to expect more or less perfection from Quantum Mechanics when it comes to their figure bodies. Every Star Trek figure that I've ever worked with from them has been solid, rock solid, um, performed just, to, just as expected. Very natural feel to it when the posing was complete. You'll notice here that I've already put the hands onto the, on the pegs that I'm, that I'm intending to use. I didn't do that in the video. That's because it's extremely cold in my studio right now because of the weather and I don't have a heater there. But in, in order for me to make that work, I had to heat the plastic with a heat gun um, because the cold in the studio has an effect on the hands and on the joints. It makes them hard and brittle and prone to breakage, and I really don't want to do that. I highly recommend that if you have a similar thing going on in your place, if you live in a cold climate or it's colder than usual in your place. In fact, don't even limit it to when it's cold. Just play it safe. If you, if there, if you have any doubt about the solidity or the fragility of the figure's joints and wrist pegs, always heat them up with a heat gun on a low setting. If you have a hair dryer, that actually works best if you want to avoid melting the plastic. Always do that. It softens it up to, enough to make it more pliable and to get to that point where it's actually not going to break on you. Again, trust me on this. I've had numerous instances of heartache and I'd really rather not see or hear stories from you guys as well. As you can see, I'm opting to go with a museum pose with Khan. Again, like so many of my other figures, I feel like Khan is all about presence. And it's crucial, I think, just to capture his attitude. Looking back on the pose right now, I think I see that I've done a few things wrong. I would have had that front arm back a little bit more, creating a bit more of a curve and separating a bit more from the body from that camera angle. Maybe have him leaning in a little bit too far forward. I wanted to have him leaning forward just a touch, just to give that sense of attitude and aggression. For the most part, though, I think that this pose works, and I tweaked it a little bit for photography, as you'll see here soon. One final bit, you'll notice that the belt here is hanging a little bit low. It really accentuates that paunch that they gave him. Raise that thing up where the pleats begin on the pants right there in the midsection. I think that that seemed to me to be a safe place to put the belt. If you get it there, then it looks quite natural and minimizes the appearance of Khan having a gut. I first saw Space Seed when I was six, possibly seven years old. It was after Star Wars, for sure, for sure, and before Empire Strikes Back. I remember that much about it. I was watching a lot of Star Trek with my dad at the time because, quite frankly, at that time we couldn't get Star Wars in the house and I couldn't watch it on repeat. That came along later. My memory of the viewing is fuzzy at best, as most things from when you're six or seven years old are. And I faded away from Star Trek for a little while until I actually missed the movie. I missed Star Trek The Motion Picture. But when Wrath of Khan came along and brought that character back in the most brutal way imaginable, of course I was hooked. 
better than any Bond villain ever, I would say. And Ricardo Montalban's performance as a sort of interstellar Ahab in the film really cemented him in the iconography of the Star Trek universe and in fans' minds for all time. What Quantum Mechanics has done here in capturing his face, his likeness, everything about him from that first appearance in the episode has really brought it home for me. I'm genuinely impressed. This is most likely my favorite Star Trek figure to date. Looking forward to getting him on the shelf. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tune in next time. Until then, be good to your plastic.